I'd like to show you how to take advantage of M Classic if your PC or your gaming laptop is not keeping up with the frame rate. So we're gonna run some tests on the Shadow Tomb Raider, right? The setup is pretty straightforward. I've got a gaming laptop, the HP Omen gaming laptop uh, with an i7 and a GTX 1070 graphics card, right? And I've got side by side to speed up the demonstration to 1440p gaming monitor. So uh, the preset is in the highest, right? As you can see, the resolution is 1440p. And what we're gonna start, we're gonna be starting by running basically a benchmark test, right? So let's see what happens. All right, so now as you can see is we are running in highest preset, right? Uh, clearly, the gaming laptop is having a hard time to keep up with the rendering frame rate. The average is about 39 to even like 39, 40 max, right? Uh, so clearly it's having a hard time to keep up with it. Let's check out quickly the resolution, right? It's rendering natively at 1440p, right? This is the settings. You can see on both monitors are set up exactly the same way. So 1440p on both sides, right? And now what I'd like to do, I'd like to say, okay, let's go back. Now, M Classic is set up in a default mode. The LED is green, right? So right now you have 40, 1440p coming out of the gaming laptop is going uh, through M Classic, right? And now what I'm gonna do is without changing the setting of M Classic, I'm gonna simply rerun the test, but this time is I'm gonna ask the laptop to render hopefully at the highest frame at a low resolution 1080p and let M Classic re-render the content in real time at 1440p and let's see what happened to the frame rate, right? So I stay in highest settings, right? I'm just gonna lower the rendering frame rate to 1920 by 1080. Okay. 1920 by 1080, of course. And now let's rerun the test. I'm applying the changes, right? Okay. Now it's set up in 1920 by 1080, okay? And I'm gonna run the benchmark test. And Right now, what do I see? I clearly see, actually I see a drastic visual enhancement on the right side where M Classic, M Classic is plugged in. What we can notice is that on both screen right now, the graphics card is, is, cap is keeping up with the frame rate. So it's capable to render uh, in average 58 to 60 frames a second, which is great. Now, you know, the visual enhancement, the, the preset is still in highest, but clearly between the difference between the left and the right is quite drastic. Now let's look at what's happening. This is the original. Now, what we can see is 1920 by 1080, but what's good is at least I'm playing at a higher frame rate. But with M Classic, what happened is not only it looks better, but now, as you can see, the content is getting rerounded at 60 Hertz, but now it's 1440p. In summary, uh, the benchmark at 1440p in average is 33 frames a second. Now in 1920 by 1080, it goes up to 60. Now let's look at the side by side uh, where let's check like natively, even though it was not playing in real time, let's look at 1440p, how the picture quality looks like compared to actually M Classic taking it from 1080p to 1440p. And as you can see clearly, uh, it's hard to tell the difference between the native 1440p and the upscale and enhanced with M Classic from 1080p to 1440p. So clearly, in summary, what we see, we see that M Classic is a perfect solution for you in order to be able to play in real time in this case, and yet with no compromise on picture quality. Thank you.